So here's the boxing Barbie. Loves to shit talk. Says she's 3 0 fighting elsewhere, but she was down to fight anyone here. She's only 19 years old, and she'll be fighting someone who's just 20, a year older than her. Claire the Beast Connor. So Claire won in dominant fashion at RR 18. She's also a ring girl tonight. Fairmont State. And even for the fighters, you're all geared up, you're ready to come in, you're ready to fight, and then you have that moment that kind of takes the wind out of the yep, building. Yep, so hopefully we can get a, a fight to... What's that? Oh, okay, so the ringside position has to come back on. Yep, yep. Um, and, and I thought it was obvious, I, I shouldn't have even gone on Twitter, Obviously, we didn't show the replay because he was being attended yeah. to. Someone yeah, was like, "Why didn't you show the replay?" It's like, "Well, we have a we're we're not total fucking idiots right, and, yeah. and animals." But we're gonna get an update. Jerry said he'd make sure that we get an update by the end of the night. Yes, but if you are wondering that, it was a serious situation, and we're not gonna celebrate serious situations. No. Her first bout. Now, when it comes to the referee in this fight, he is one of our signature rough and rowdy referees. He came up to me right before this card started. And he said, listen, I could have stopped that last Big Dick Booty Daddy fight a little earlier, but I, I just wanted to give everyone the opportunity for that to fight to go down. I think he felt bad about it, but I think he handled it well. Yes. All right, here we go. Try to pick up the pace back in this building after that last fight. And a tremendous knockout. So Red Gloves 1-0 and rough and rowdy. Blue Gloves first fight, we're saying. Blue Gloves is thrown with some speed and power, I can tell immediately. Malaysia Mackey, she looks like an athlete. Like, she, she's on her bicycle, Long though. legs. Big stance, wide stance, not a lot of punching so far. Looks like she's trying oh, to keep distance. Oh. Good shot, oh. good shot. And you could see the confidence build immediately there. Yeah, that was a good exchange, the best exchange of the fight from Blue. She loosened up a little bit. She got the hands moving. Malaysia with a very wide base. Oh, kind of pawed that left, almost leading with a full punch there. And now coming in, good first round. Getting comfortable, shaking out the arm a little bit. One nothing, I would say, for blue gloves in that corner. Malaysia, Leiby, Mackey. Now you spoke about the pawing. We actually had some pawing in our main event weigh-ins last night. There were some that. hands thrown, right? Vicky D went to put a hat. Oh, what, we got a pickle in the ring. Yep. Straight Vicky pickle. D went to put her hat on Cherry Bomb. Bomb. Cherry Bomb pushed her, pickle and Vicky D hit her with a, with a face palm. Yes. Well, it, as Cherry Bomb should. What is going on why, with the why, pickle? Why I think this Cherry is a moral on? combat thing. We got a pickle in the ring. Is that a real statement? Is that a real statement? The pickle? Yeah. Oh, here's here's what you were. Here we go. To. Yeah, yeah. So the hats on, a shove, and then a face palm. I don't think I don't think Vicky D was expecting. No, that. no, she, was not. she definitely wasn't. And and I'm not gonna point fingers, but where's Frank the Tank in that? He's gotta stop that. And he again, should. I mean, Vicky D, if you're gonna put a hat on your opponent, you gotta expect that to happen. Yeah. Yes. All right, round two, round one. I think I scored two blue gloves. Oh, good first punch of the round for her, too. Oh, again, a good little exchange. Sometimes in Rough and Rowdy, the best way to break that guard is to just go straight over yes. like a wall. Just throw the hands from the top. Have them drop from the rafters like sting. And it's kind of funny. When, when Malaysia throws, she's generally getting off first. That's when Red starts throwing. Right. Like yeah. it triggers her to throw. She's off first there. All right, better round for Red. Nice little left. Feel the boo birds may be coming. Yep, he may get a little bit of booing. And in the words of Commissioner Jerry, oh, if you're going to boo, make sure you boo. Good right right there from Blue. Oh, another good right. Ah! Tough round to score. Yeah, not a lot. <laughs> Probably not blue again. I, I would have to go blue again. I think I think if either one of these can decisively win the next round, they win the fight, but I don't know that either can. She got some free stuff. Coming into the 3 chi third round, throwing out some 3 chi t-shirts. 3 chi the best in the biz, obviously. You get 30% off with the code RELAX30 tonight through midnight Eastern Standard Time. 30% off is double what the usual promo code is. 
So make I sure you that. take advantage of that. Three Chief truly is the best stuff in the biz. Must be 21 or older to purchase. Relax 30. All right, round three, Malaysia, Leiby, Mackey versus Claire, the Beast, Connor. And Claire. remember, Big Dick Booty Daddy coming up in two fights for your name reputation. I, the Irish Dave Porter is a pretty good fighter. Yes, he? he is. Yes. yes. I'm curious how we the have... Big Dick Booty Daddy's going to treat us because we've also spoken very disparagingly about him. But he deserves him. everything we oh, said. Absolutely we've been he does. Oh, absolutely, he does. Fair. Much more active here to begin the round. Good uppercut just missed right there from Malaysia. I think they both oh, landed. Win. I don't know if they can either really hurt each other. They are both throwing, but Red Gloves just keeps coming forward despite getting hit. Yeah, Ooh. she's got a really good chin. Yeah, I like kind of the motion. It's very, like, professional looking from Malaysia. Malaysia, yes. yeah. yeah. Agreed. Even when she went to the corner, right. it looked like Fluid. she was professional. Yeah. I feel like I heard an Aaron Bell there. I should be hearing things. No, I heard it. That was part of the song. Oh, oh good. right. One and done, though, from Malaysia. And then she does that kind of strut thing. Push that hand away. Ten seconds, Ten seconds. in the fight. Someone's got to try. They both go for it. I think this is going to go to Malaysia. But I think so, too. They could go either way. But Malaysia, I think, yeah. Is this for me? Someone bring me a drink? I think it was a good effort from Claire Connor, to be honest. I think she really moved forward they the entire fight. But yeah. she just couldn't control those punches. The official scoring of the judges at ringside. It is a split decision. Yeah, see? The winner fighting out of the blue corner. I think that's the right decision. Right call. Yep. Yep. Right call. Agreed. Robbie Fox here, rough and rowdy commentator and ringside correspondent. If you're new to the channel, make sure you subscribe. New videos every week, and go to watchrnr.com for the latest info on our upcoming events and how to find out how you could be the next fighter in the rough and rowdy ring.